And I don't see why those that had the historically misfortune to be at university during the 9,000 period should be burdened excessively compared to those that went before or those that come after. So I'm I will deal with it. Do you have any numbers about how much that's going to cost? Well, Andrew, it's, it's a big abacus that I'm working on with that. It is a huge amount. It's 100 billion, which they estimate currently, which will increase. Billion. It's a huge amount of money. Jeremy Corbyn's promise to the electorate yeah. just a few days before the election yeah. that he was going to look at wiping out historic debt. Uh, accumulated by yeah. students and she said that would cost around 100 yeah. billion. Yeah. Is, that, is that a figure that you recognise? Yes, it is about that. I don't want to promise something we can't deliver. I want to be straight. <laughs> let, let me do it. It was promised just no, before, it a few days before voting. It wasn't a promise. What Jeremy said, we're going to try and tackle this issue. And this felt like a promise. It was made in the New Musical Express, the NME, yeah. read by huge numbers and of I'm not, younger people. And, I'm not and younger voters thought it was a promise. It not, sounds like it's a, a vague aspiration. We'll look at what we can do. It's a real ambition that we've got. But of course, it, we can only do... It sounded do it. like a promise at the time. Well, That's the problem. I mean, well, has... No, it was an aspiration that Jeremy said that he would want to look at. Our leader said that that's an ambition. So it's a real ambition of ours. And we would look at that as an aspiration. Coursera champion, when Jeremy Corbyn said a week before the election, a week before voting, uh, he told voters that, quote, he would deal with historic student debt. Mm. What did he mean by that? Um, well, you have to ask him. Um, Chance I think would it's... be a fine thing. <laughs> mm. I, I'll ask if he'll come on. Yeah. Um, I, I don't think it's going to be possible, um, to be quite honest.